Ladies and gentlemen, Brady Labor from TriStateFootball.com. You're looking at Tom Grippa, the head coach of the Milford Eagles, after one of the greatest comebacks I think I've ever witnessed, 39-35. And it's not just the comeback. It's the fact that it's Milford's first ever playoff win. Coach, how are you feeling right now? Oh, I'm, 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 I'm on cloud nine. I couldn't feel any happier. I'm so proud of our kids. You know, when, when I came here, the Lord had a plan for me, you know. I was I was in limbo, and um, I, Milford was desperate for a football coach, and I was desperate for a job, and they, you know, God bless them for hiring me, and you know it's been a great marriage, and um, I'm so proud to be here. I'm so proud to have done what we've done here. Talk about some divine intervention. You guys were down at halftime. Obviously, you wanted to make adjustments in the first 19 seconds of the third quarter. They scored two times. You guys could have easily rolled over and quit, but your guys just kept working, kept working. What do you tell the guys after you've already faced adversity? You just have another mountain of it come on you, and you still figure out a way to come back and win. Well, that's the culture we've created here. We fight, we compete, our, our strength training program allows us to, um, I mean, we make it hard for them, and it's tough. And because it's tough, they, they know what it is to compete, and they know what it is to endure and persevere, and they know why we're doing it. And, you know, so there's no quitting us. All right, 32 unanswered points. I mean, wow. that is the thing that when these kids are our age, telling those old war stories, they've got a heck of one there. Talk about being, being able to help lead these guys to something that they'll be able to live with forever. It's a great honor, and I'm so happy to be here. They're a great group of kids. Um, the community's been awesome. Uh, there's so many, our senior class especially is, is outstanding. You know, Jake Gaylor, Connor Foster, Brian Stevens, Dylan Hughes, JT, Jacob Turner. How many? I got so many. I got 22 of them that are all great kids. All right, and, and they really all stepped up for you. We talked to Hunter Johnson, one of the many heroes, of course, Jake Hero. Just talk about Hunter and just being able to not really play his best game, but to, but to be a good enough leader to keep the team on track and get him down the field. That's so true. I'm, I'm looking at his stats right now. He was 21 for 39 for 380 yards, three touchdowns. I told him that we we're going to throw the ball 40 times, and if he hit – 28 of them we win. Well, he was 21 for 39. But um, three touchdown passes. Um, I don't know that the picks were his fault. I know the one was, uh, it was fourth down and he just threw it to try to make a play. I don't count, I told him I didn't count. And um, what a great lesson for him. He's a junior, he's just a junior. You know, and he'll be, I can't wait for next week. Now we're going to have to probably air this thing out next week, so it'll be interesting. Yeah, you face Rain next week, but I tell you what, 24-hour rule definitely in effect after a great win like yeah, that, 39-35. Right. to 35. Congratulations uh, with Milford beating Fairfield. Coach Tom Grippa, great win tonight, and glad to be here for you. Thank you.